Why should you upgrade your E14 with the trigger shifter? For one, it just looks much, much better, much more modern. You have better usability because we now have a real trigger shifter that can be operated both forward with the thumb and backward with the index finger. It feels very high quality and you prevent the risk of pressing two buttons at once. Especially when you're wearing gloves, you now have much better haptic feedback. And for all first generation E14 users, the manual auto calibration button is no longer needed. It works easily through the app with the new shifter and the current software. With which roll-off E14 system is the new trigger shifter compatible? Good news, you can use the new trigger with all electronic roll-off E14 shift systems, whether it's the Bosch e-bike system 2, or the smart system, or another system. The trigger shifter works with all roll-off E14 shift systems. Important for the installation, the trigger can only be mounted on the right side and only with a 22.2mm handlebar diameter. To replace the control unit of your roll-off E14, you will need the new trigger shifter, a Torx T10 wrench and a 3mm hex key. First, remove any cable ties that might be holding the connection on your e-bike and the roll-off shifting system. Now you can easily remove the plug connection by pulling firmly and use the 3mm hex key to dismount the old unit from the handlebar. Now we can already attach the new trigger shifter. Make sure that the wider side of the mounting clamp faces the direction of travel. There is also an additional small groove that must align with the trigger switch. Just ensure it fits properly. And then you can carefully tighten the first screw towards the front with 0.8 newton meters, relatively firmly. Now check if the trigger switch has any collisions with the brake lever or other accessories on the handlebar. If that's not the case and you can operate it smoothly, you can now also tighten the second screw with the Torx T10 wrench. Again, the recommended torque is 0.8 newton meter. If everything is secure and you've already pressed it a few times as a test, we can now reconnect the plug connection. Pay attention to the two arrows printed on the cables to ensure they connect with the correct polarity. Firmly press it together and connect, and if necessary, neatly route everything back on the handlebar using cable ties. Once you have installed it, you can turn on your e-bike and perform the first function test to check if you can hear the familiar sounds and that the hub shifts through. Here, I recommend checking for updates again via the Roll-Off 14 app and, if necessary, installing the latest firmware update for your Roll-Off. You can now also start the auto calibration through the app and if you ever have issues, this is your first option to get them under control. That was our little tutorial on the new Roll-Off E14 shifter. Easy peasy for anyone to do themselves. If you're interested in upgrading it yourself now, feel free to visit our shop. There, you can have the new trigger switch delivered directly to your home. If there are still any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any future tutorials. See you later.